Hello, fellow rock tumblers. Let's see how well this will tumble. What is this, you ask? Well, this is the end cut off an agate that Kendra had found out in West Texas at the Coconut 06 Ranch. When we cut into it, we realized that she had found a winner. Look at all that beautiful saginitic spray and the little, what look like poppies in the field. Just a beautiful scene. I decided to go ahead and try to slab this, so I made it like so. And then we have this. And then let's find out how well these will tumble and polish. I think that if this takes a good shape and shine, which, well, they both should, this could probably be made into a, a freestanding, you know, just a pendant or something, or I don't know, maybe I'll we'll mount it in such a way where that's your view. But imagine this view once this thing is shined up nicely. It ought to be really special. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the coarse grit barrel. Get it rolling in the 6090 grit. Keep it rolling until it's nice and smooth. Once it's nice and smooth, I'll bring these back in here and I'll show you what they look like before moving them onto the polishing stages. Check it out. Kendra's beautiful end cut of agate here is finally finished with the coarse grit tumbling. And this should be awesome once it gets shined up. You can see that flower scene in there. Oh yeah, that should be a winner. This little bitty quartzy area right here I just decided to leave in. This thing was getting small enough. The other half, I was tired of waiting on it to be perfect, so I went ahead and took it to the calving machine to clean up a couple of the rough edges. But don't worry, once this goes to the 220 grit in the vibratory tumbler, it will look really nice as well. So what I'm going to do now is get both of these in the vibratory tumbler, and I'll go through my regular 10-day four-step process. And after that final 14,000 grit aluminum oxide polish, I'll bring these back in here, and I'll show you what they look like. The polishing on Kendra's little end cut agate is all finished. Wow, let's take a look at this. Let's just concentrate on this one first because this is stunning. This may be the nicest rock I have ever tumbled right here. <laughs> look at this thing. I think my hands are shaking a little bit. It's just that awesome. Let's look at the other side. Wow. It took an amazing shine. And it has an incredible, absolutely stunning scene on the inside. Look at that. Wow, what a beauty. What about this other piece here? Was this worthy of anything? Well, that's pretty as well. Sure, look at that. Oh, very nice. But this is the money shot. Wow, <laughs> saginitic agate from the Coconut 06 Ranch out there near Alpine, Texas. I cannot wait to go back and find some more of those. Now what to do with this? I'm gonna bring it to Kendra today. Let her decide. I'm gonna tell her that as polished rocks go, this may be the pinnacle right here. I don't know if it gets any better. Wow, I am just blown away. What a stunner. I hope you agree. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And if you like this, please remember to check my other videos. I got lots more rock tumbling stuff. Thanks again for watching.